Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. We're going on to episode two of season three. We're going to see what happens next. We just left off on a big gunfight. Is this another flashback? Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. No, no, no. I insist. Grab this sponge and you're going to be eating it too. It's not a big deal. I've got it. No, I know you don't mind, but... I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around. And then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Well... Well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. I'm just messing around. It's just wow. hard to say no to a fresh start. Always wanted to go to Norway. See the northern lights. Uh, you'll be jet-setting and I'll still just be here. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh, Ooh, shit, quick, shit, running shit, underwater. shit. Well, that was David's army glass. He's going to be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. Just blame me. Well, he'll buy it. I'm the idiot fuck up, right? That's true. Exactly. There you go. See? Much better. What was that noise? Guys, you're, you're going to be okay. Hello. My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. David, come on, take it easy. It was an accident. Stay out of this hobby. Not until you step away and cool off. We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're going to start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone. Except himself. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No, it's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. Yep. Don't worry, I can handle him. He's just in a mood. Trust me, it won't last. That sounds like a fun marriage. Hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh God, Mariana. Uh, 
And that was a good shot from the woods and probably with an assault rifle. Unless he had a sniper, I guess. I already dug a grave for her. Thank you. Man, Clem's been busy. She gets stuff done. I'm gonna give her the candy bar. This was my fault, Mariana. God, God damn it. I'm so sorry, honey. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. What does it matter now? They got away. It was pointless. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. Hang on a sec. She carried this around for years. Sorry, I never found you those candy bars. You deserved just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me Some someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly... Why are we using bullets on stuff like this? I don't get it. The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. It's some kind Who of are gang? They? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. 
I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. On the road again. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. He made it back. She asked for you, you know. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor, at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Oof. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she going to be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. She's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. So you're just giving up? Not at all. I'm just saying. There's nothing else I can do right now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. Okay. I know Chip drove like hell to get Kate back here. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected, and considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. What you did, I'm grateful. I still think they would have preferred to have you there instead of me. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you, all of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott, if that's what you want. Nobody's going to force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. Not going to make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. Am I allowed to just... Oh, it says... Take free sample. What, of water? That felt like theft. I don't know if I want that. Put it back. So the Clem just stick outside? Is that what she did? 
Have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Hit it off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice, one parent to another. He's had a really bad day. I can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood, I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Aren't we at the front gate? Well, let's just do a quick sweep. Make sure I didn't miss any other goodies. Okay, that looks like it then. I don't know. Are, are we supposed to have like a love interest with the stepmom? Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. Or do I get like a choice between the stepmom and the and the doctor? Cause that's kind of what it feels like it's pushing towards. Gabe. Gabe, come on. Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was... peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. It doesn't count. Why not? I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. But at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not going to sit back and watch. I'm going to do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Shit. Get inside! Now! Oh boy. We might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. I thought you kicked her ass out. Knock, knock. Anyone home? He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired him. Took out a lot of our people. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Or else 
what? What are you gonna do? You know damn well what. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. Oh no! Chrissy! You hurt her, I'll kill you! Whoa! You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, baby. Alright, baby. Just. just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. You hurt her, and I'll hurt you back worse than you could ever imagine. Big words! The words are just that. Oh. oh my god! Now get your ass oh down here, or please. I cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. You'll kill Francine. Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No <laughs> fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her anyway, Connor. Do it. We gotta risk it. <sighs> Kill him. Do it. I literally don't even care anymore. We got the high ground. Oh, they just blow our gate open? Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go-ahead! No, fuck you! Fuck the go-ahead! Ram the fucking gate! They're gonna deposit a bunch of walkers in here. Jesus Christ! Shoot the driver! It's just glass! Or don't. Or don't shoot the driver. You're not gonna take your knife? Okay. Let's say, why are we leaving weapons? Let's just use this. There's enough room for her. 
Wow, guys. Yeah, I don't think that was going to end any other way than the way it ended. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just stop talking. Let's unload. Be the first ones to make the first shots. So I have a feeling that's what this is going to be. It's going to be about these guys with the tattoos, stuff like that. And it's almost going to be like a war, I guess. Ugh. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Kesmir out. Ha ha ha.